Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniature, and I gotta say, I am happy to report that I've got a working 3D printer again. And you know how I know that? Because I went and I printed up a whole bunch, well not a whole bunch, but at least a plate worth of the new stuff from Albino Raven Miniatures. Now, I know I did Albino Raven's hazmat teams earlier in the last few weeks or so but when i saw their new release they took those hazmat suit guys and then they repurposed them into what else but hazmat zombies how could i not resist these so i already passed on a few to my brother who was eagerly hopefully painting those right now as we speak if not, I'm going to have to give them a sharp reminder about that. But I got to say, as with their past releases, you get a lot of bang for your buck with Albino Raven stuff. So you had not only all sorts of various zombies in various states of falling apartness. Obviously, we will get these guys primed up so you can see them a little bit better. But I do dig the poses. There were a couple crawling guys. There were like maybe six or seven different poses before you start playing with variations on them. But... In addition to that, they had a whole crew of, rather than just regular soldiers, they had like these heavy-duty, heavy infantry guys. And I was like, wow, these are such shades of Wolfenstein. I have got to get some of these printed up. Maybe, maybe it's Kill Zone it reminds me of. I don't know. But very bulky, heavily armed, heavily armored. And I did not print the whole set. Obviously, that was going to take a while. I just wanted to give you guys a good look-see here. If we're going to have heavy infantry, though, we got to have some heavy weapons. All of these were pretty supported, and for once, other than the fact that I still need to remove some of those little supports here and there, you can see one underneath his trigger. And I guess there's another one right there on the inside of his arm. Then they had the super weapons, so we've got like these crazy plasma launcher things. And I'm a sucker for a kitted out model. I like when models have all kinds of junk on them. Which is funny, I mean, I'll go from one extreme to the next. I will have, you know, barbarians next to nothing and then guys with just way too much kit on them. Like this. Actually, this guy isn't even that bad compared to the next model I want to show off. Uh, <laughs> you want to talk about overcompensating a little bit. This is absolutely ridiculous. I love this model so much. This was the first one I had to put onto the print plate. I saw this and I'm like, oh yeah, that's that's just, look at this. Why does he have to have two feeds into that gun? I don't even know and I don't even care. It just, he's got extra wiring all over him. He's got extra grenades strapped on. He's just a fun model. And why would you not want to have guys with flamethrowers and laser cannons and plasma weapons blasting zombies? I mean... What else are you going to do with them? You can't negotiate with them. You want to go hand-to-hand -hand with them? Be my guest. I'm going to be nuking them from a distance. So, like I said, nice-looking set. Uh, you do have access to all kinds of other stuff from them. And I'll come back. I'll get them all primed up and let you guys see how they look, okay? Link. Okay, guys, real quick. We got everybody all primed up here just to give you a quick glimpse. Uh, let's start with our... Heavy Weapon Specialist. Again, these are all their single piece ones. They actually do have a bunch of modular, you know, multi-part kits if that's the route you want to go. Not for these heavy weapon guys, but for their SWAT team and for their regular infantry. And actually, as of, well, the end of the year, I know they had a special Christmas deal going on where if you actually subscribe to their Patreon, they had a bunch of extra files available, which is kind of the reason I also wanted to get this video out there is to make everybody aware. So if you want to have a bunch of modern day soldier types, in addition to the hazmat zombies, um, do take advantage of it before the year is up. As I say that, it's like the end of the year anyway. Um, I think these zombies would be great for all sorts of reasons. I know somebody mentioned something about using them for, like, Resident Evil-type games or Biohazard or Zombicide, even. That would work <laughs> really quickly. I, I started painting one, and I'm not one to usually put works in progress. I know I always have those weekly painting videos, but I kind of took a break 
at least until the beginning of next year. But I started working on one of these guys, so you can see. They, they did actually paint up really quickly, and I started also on one of the heavy infantry. And after having started it, I can't help but feel like I'm, I'm like, channeling... What was that game? Killzone? The Hellgast? I totally feel like I'm painting Hellgas models. He's not finished yet either, but just to give you a good idea. I mean, they're they're really easy to paint up, and, and totally, if you wanted to go with that Hellgas vibe or a Wolfenstein vibe, I think you can totally make it work with these guys. These would make great baddies for any type of near-future game, I think. Uh, if you wanted to use them as the good guys, you know, clearing out a zombie infestation, obviously that is a route to go to, and like I said, if you subscribe early enough, I know this video is going to be up long after the Christmas season, but if you subscribe now during the Christmas season, they have a bunch of other files available as well, like their Humvee, their SWAT team, all their pinup girls, all their multi-parts uh, soldiers, uh, bases, there's just a ton of stuff. So, you know, fun models, uh, something different, and I think it's something that a lot of people can get a lot of use out of. Now, the inevitable question of size, grabbing a traditional Marine. Let's see if I can find any guard-type models laying around here. You know, come to think of it, I don't think I actually own any actual, legit, regular G-dubs guard models. I do have a Feudal Guard from the Maker's Cult, which is pretty close in terms of size and scale. I have a Grognob from War Games Atlantic. I guess it's a little bit shorter, but also isn't in a bit lower stance. So if you wanted to go that route, getting a Primaris up in here. You know what I'm realizing? I don't have any Mantic Enforcers handy in fact, I thought I had some Asterian... Yeah, I do have an Asterian drone, at least, right here, with a bunch of other stuff sitting on top of him. So, roughly the size and scale of a humanoid Mantic model. If you don't believe me, let's see if I can find our Basilian friend here. Who should be here somewhere, and I don't see him. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we'll track them down later. But just to get you guys a good idea of what you are working with, and the joy of these kinds of models as well, as always, is since they are 3D printed, if you want to tweak them and make them a little bit smaller, you know, I'd say if you want to lower them by about 10% or so, I think they would fit in pretty nicely as an actual guard unit, uh, especially if you start playing around with their multi-part files. They do have some guys carrying rocket launchers, and flamethrowers, so if you wanted to go that route, you could have yourself a full near-future type guard squad. Something to keep in mind. But honestly, it's always cool to see Patreons and modelers that are doing something a little bit different that not everybody else is doing. And absolutely, I would be more than happy to support that. Let's see if we can get our half-painted hazmat zombie up here. So yeah, I'll put a link down below if you're curious, do check it out, uh, especially if you want to get a bunch of extra files while the time is right for that as well. Uh, hopefully all of you are out there staying safe, enjoying the holidays, and I will definitely be seeing you guys back here with new, fresh, and exciting stuff when 2021 hits. Until then, this has been High Lord Tamerlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching, and as always, we'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.